just like I just like the music. As as weird as that sounds, like I love the music in Civ, and like I just love watching like the, the little units like walk around and like do stuff. It's entertaining to me. Very fun. Very relaxing stuff. A lightning strike though. That's annoying. At least he can't really freeze the wave, you know what I mean? Kinda good. And he took a lot of damage from the wave. still I believe nice let's go dude big night singe baby Oop, gotta back off that all right he can't freeze the wave though he has lightning strike like I mean he can but he's not going to that's the thing Alright, we're looking good. Let's grab... Yeah, I just, you know, I'm just gonna go Blasting Wand, dude. I just, I just wanna... <laughs> I just want AP. Actual Jesse, the answer is yes, by the way. Yeah, Second Wind is amazing versus Volley. Doran Shield is amazing versus Volley. I just hadn't, haven't taken in this game, because with Conqueror, you need a very specific rune setup for the setup to work. You need healing, 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 healing. Uh, the reason why, I will say after the game, just remind me. It's nothing bad. Like, no drama or anything. Not a very dramatic person, personally. Oh, here we go, Mr. A-Soul. Mr. A-Soul. Oh! Get him! Nice, the fade away. You love to see it with Graves and you just do the fade away kill. Like, you shoot the Q and walk away and they die in a second. Oh man. Cool guys don't look at explosions, that's why. Don't look at this. I was definitely looking. Liar. He was turned around. He had sunglasses on too. He's a liar. Grab that warrior right before I back. We'll go ahead and grab boots. Um, not sure if this is a tabby game or if it's a... Mm, probably a tabby game. Because Ash is the main late game threat, right? We can deal with Diana with just uh, ultimate and healing. Oh god, they're so low. Ooh, that's rough. Good Q by the Asol. Alright, Caitlyn. I like it. I'm gonna try and freeze this wave here. See if we can punish the Volley Bear. Father Singed, welcome, dude. How can you play so well in a certain matchups on Singed? Uh, experience. So with Volley Bear, initially I would struggle a lot, but then you learn with Volley Bear, like level one, he takes W, so you can kind of bully him a little bit. Then as he scales up a little bit like that, you gotta be careful because he can nuke you. But, ah, shit, the cannon. The benefit being I can still like kind of avoid him and deal damage to him. Gotta be quite careful right now though, because he can he can all in me. <laughs> I 
got him, boys. Come here, fiddle. Come here, fiddle. I see you. Never mind. I don't see you anymore. Yeah, that Conqueror is paying off versus Volibear. Burst Mage Volibear. I think people were playing uh, AP Volibear on YouTube for a little bit. Because apparently the scaling on his shield nuke thing is like huge. What's he doing? See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Volley bear. Okay, I'm gonna get it fiddle ulted over the wall. Three, two. Never mind. I am in fact not gonna get fiddle ulted over the wall. So what's better? Is is Civ 5 better or is Civ 6 better? Because I have more time in Civ 5, but I also own Civ 6 because it was free on the Epic Game Store. So which one's better, in your guys' opinion? Because I have some seasoned Civ players in the chat. Because it feels like Civ 6 was not that much of an upgrade. But then again, I didn't like play it that much, so I don't really know. I'm also not good at it, I'm awful at it. Okay, saying Diana's coming top. You prefer six? Okay. Why do you prefer six? Get away. I think I should have just ran towards the end. I might have actually gotten out. Yo, their bot lane's gonna get dove though. Nice, okay. Trouble the tower aggro. Very well done, team. Very well done. Okay, yeah, I have rallies now, so I don't think Volibear is much of a threat. Like, he can't catch me anymore, so. Or Gucci. We'll get a plate. Maybe two. That's fine. You guys to gold through earlier, but all of your games are coin flipping. It was a game for the team too hard. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just have days like that, man. Don't let it get you down. I have days like that too. Everyone does. Like sometimes challenger players losing gold, it just happens. Sometimes your teams are uncarryable. The best thing you can do is just play the best that you can in every single game. Eventually you'll get rating. Ailk, welcome, man. The fiddle six could be top soon. If I'm fiddle six, I'm looking top. Ah, fuck. There he is. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, every time, man. Every time. You know what? Maybe I do go Merc Treads, actually. The Ash is not fed. Everybody else is fed. So Merc Treads it is. Let's go drag, boys. Who needs top tower? I don't need top tower. My homies all hate top tower. Your team has destroyed okay, I see I, I see what you're saying, Buasta. 
so, so like it was so that was different in Civ 5 is what you're saying because like Civ 5 the wonders were a lot easier to build I do agree or at least get like the maximum bonuses out of them Poison still on. I'm coming for you. My poison's still on. No, I wanted it, dude. Oh, Lulu, why? Just let me kill you. That's the one thing about Polymorph with Lulu is your poison stays on. So half the time, if Lulu polymorphs you and you're fast, like she's wasting her polymorph. Not always. Sometimes it's a good polymorph. Like if you're looking to fling someone, but if you're not looking to fling someone, usually polymorph is bad on Singe. What runes versus Mordecai's are top? You either copy these runes or you go one of these. Ah, he has a Q still. So fast. Fast bear. He has no TP though, so. Farm it up back here. I think he's staying. Yeah, he's staying. All good. Ah, shit. Damn. I had a feeling Fiddle would be there. I didn't think I would die. I didn't think I would die. 1268 damage, huh? That's crazy. Feels very bad. <laughs> I've literally gone top and died like three times in a row, and Bolivar is just sitting there farming. And and the worst part is I'm still like even in CS with him, even though I'm just inting. Oh, I think I lose top tower though. It's okay. I outskill that team besides Ash. I am stronger late game than every one of those champions, except this one, the Frost Archer. You guys want to hear something crazy? Back in the day, in like season one, Ash was like the best AD carry in the fucking game because champions had no ways to deal with the perma slow. If you caught someone in perma slow back then with Ash, like they were always dead, almost always, because like there was so much less like dashing and blinking and jumping and shit. Zay's the welcome man. Glad to have you. Adopted Helm. Hmm. We could use it to break top. The most hyper mobile champion back in season one and two, Nidalee probably. Maybe Lee Sin. I don't know if Kasten was out back then. I don't know. I don't remember if Kasten's original 40 or not. I don't think he's original 40 actually. This fiddle over there, he's ulting. We take those boys. <laughs> and Graves is like, you see those minions? We take those. Oh no. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Minions got the tower though. That tower goal. Cass was 2009, so Cass is original 40. That means Cassadin was the most mobile champion at that stage in the game. Now it's like still Lee Sin, or maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe Camille is the most mobile champion. 
Who is more mobile than Camille? I don't know. I I I love old League of Legends, man. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Old League of Legends was some of the best video gaming experience I've ever had in my entire life. You walk in the wrong neighborhood, Volley Bear. Lilia? I wouldn't call Lilia hypermobile. She's just fast. When I say mobility, I mean like jumping and dashing, blinking, etc. Ooh, can I make it there in time? That is a lot of CC. Let's go. I need I need Diana's bounty still for Ravenous. I'm gonna go farm top after this. If I get this, I have uh, Lee injuries. I'm gonna go farm top afterwards. Look to engage. Run team. We'll go Proto Bolt third here for the Conqueror stock. <laughs> I love it when Bolivar ults and he hits a wall. It's so anticlimactic. Like this, this giant fucking bear just like barreling at you and then he hits a wall that's like half of his size and he can't go over it. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Oh, you, you love to see it. You love to see it, man. Oh, God. He's not having a good game. He, he felt strong, but he's actually like 0-5. Poor guy. Should I have Darius banned or Mordekaiser? I'd rather ban Darius. Um, but if you're having trouble with Darius, you don't actually have to ban him. Here's what you do. You just take Phase Rush and you take a. Uh, you take Phase Rush with Bomby Cinder and he can never touch you again. Because you just turn on Poison, you fling, and you run away. I have a video of it on my YouTube if you want to look it up. Bammy Cinder, Phase Rush Singed. Oh, we're going to get some 1v1s in the chat? Okay. Alright. I'm ready. Run, Graves. Man, that's a lot of fucking damage. You gotta be careful, they can go Baron. We don't respect. Team's actually doing a pretty good job. Flashes, man. Obnoxious. Wait, he dies. He dies for that, I think. Wait. Oh, God. That's bad. I did not think that Bully Bear was that tanky. Oh, it's because he didn't have Caitlyn. That's why she was dead. My bad. Because she has like nothing about MR right now, so that's some armor actually. Caitlyn's the main person that's gonna do damage to him. I need Proto Belt for this Lulu. He is, he is, not fun. Yeah, if we're gonna force Baron, then Fiddle needs to be dead. Yo, Planty, welcome. Glad to have you. Hmm, 
That's not good. That's not good. I need gold, man. anyone okay, this is so obnoxious holy shit wait we got baron i flung the fiddle off wait wait does he die to poison is that a poison ah oh, volivir lived rip all right that was nuts let's go i flung fiddle off of baron and then grave stole it over the wall he jumped over the wall and took it feels good man that's why you need Proto Belt though on Conqueror Sin, because like you just can't touch people sometimes. Like versus Kaidi Comps, you need Proto Belt. And with the extra stack, obviously, it's core. I still need Diana's uh, bounty for Ravenous. I gotta back off before. The goon squad shows up. By the goon squad, it's just Diana. eBay, your kids welcome in. What an interesting name. Next, we will probably go Zanya's, but I want to save for stopwatch. Actually, at this stage, with ravenous hunter stacks, we can sell. Uh, <clears throat> we can sell potion. That's like a big benefit of having ravenous, is you can just sell your potion later on. You can get a power spike like this. This uh, stopwatch will be quite nice if I get caught in the fiddle ult or if I get caught by Ash Arrow. Thoughts on Flash Singe? I mean, normally with Conqueror, you run Flash Singe. But I don't like Flash Singe. I think it's kind of boring. Not my style. Okay, not bad. And my ult's down. Diana is coming though. We'll be fine. There's Diana, I see her. Where are you going, Ash? Where are you going? Hey, there we go! <laughs> Javaded hard. Holy shit. They fell for the Zanyas. Or the stopwatch. They always fall for the stopwatch. They never expect Golden Singed. We're looking good. How much faster would he be if he, if he put down the Surfboard? Uh, he would actually be slower if he put down the Surfboard because it's, air, it's aerodynamic. It cuts through the air. And... Uh, also cuts through the water in the river. He's faster in the river, right? Technically. Maybe not actually. What I'm saying is the surfboard's a core part of this uh, singed. This is singed during college. Wonder if stopwatch survives the item rework? Hell no, dude. Delete stopwatch. <laughs> stopwatch is such a busted item. Genuinely just ridiculously OP. Like, not only does it save your life in a lot of situations, it also, like, prevents the enemy team from, like, coming back into the game because they can't kill you when they should be able to kill you. So for 650 gold, you can, like, just stop them from, like, reverse snowballing. Which is quite nice. Ooh, got her, boys. Nice Morello. Not enough. Holy shit, she's scary, though. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> nice. 
Nice, good bully break kill. Can heal up super hard with us now. My team's on bottom inhibitor, and I can I can have them rotate to top inhibitor because I'm pushing this lane. Oh shit, fiddle. See Diana. Should have this. Let's get out of here. We can just reset Baron Dragon. It's all three, because we have three inhibitors. Sonya's. Grab some more AP, why not? You can get Morello or like Void Staff or something. Hourglass is absurdly OP. Hourglass is absurdly OP. But here's the thing. Here, here's the thing, right? People complain about Hourglass, but you have to understand, like, from from AP players' perspective, like Death's Dance is really like just uh, just as OP, if not more OP. The same thing with uh, like Blade of the Rune King and uh, Storm Razor is like quite a big offender in my opinion as well. Like they're both really strong. Don't get me wrong, but like there is a counterpoint to be made. Like that both classes have really strong items. <clears throat> Zonya's like it just visually looks more immediately impactful, and the the benefit of Death Dance is like sometimes hidden power, but it's like it's still super strong. Baron, we got Dragon Soul. I'm gonna be fast as fuck, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna have Cloud Dragon Soul with Ghost for the next fight. I'm gonna run through their whole fucking team. Oof. Oh my god! <laughs> What is that? That's insane. He says sit back and let minions do the work. Okay. If you want to play like that, we can. Oh shit. Let's go! Oh my god! I'm still ghosted, boys! Didn't even go golden. Just memed him. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Alright, that was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. I I don't think GA is worse than Zanya's. Like Eh. I don't know. Like, I think the build path for GA is really OP. Stopwatch and then chain vest is like really strong build path. It used to be a tank item, though. Yeah, I think it was better as a tank item. We'll give it to Graves. Karen Smacker. Oh, wait, this is Kraken Smacker, not Karen Smacker. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. What do we got here? Highest, the highest damage in the game. All right. We had six, 1,670 Conqueror healing, 2,104 Triumph healing, Almost 400, uh, sorry, almost 500 bonus gold, by the way. Triumph gives bonus gold as well. You get a killer assist. 1,173 Taste of Blood healing and 8,036 Ravenous Hunter healing. Yeah, very good versus tanky team comms, as you can see. Super, super nice rune. Not the best Singed rune, I don't think, but very good against tanky comps. Alright, GG. It was enjoyable.